welcome back to my channel so um just a little update on my workout so far in my life my sugars lately have been kind of high probably due to the fact that i've been cheating a bit and not eating what i'm supposed to but and not working on as much as i should it's um the struggle is real y'all the struggle is real um I worked out tonight and I was there for almost two hours. It felt pretty good. I think I found that my new favorite equipment piece is the elliptical. I'll include a picture on my video when I upload it. I did 30 minutes on there. Y'all, it felt good. Good, good, good. What I wanted to talk about was kind of like, um, it's hard when you, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? When you don't have money and whatnot, you know, take care of yourself and, you know, basically eat a healthy diet because I mean, let's face it, it there's just junk food around and sometimes it's so much easier to grab that. But you know, I am super proud of myself. You know what guys? I have come down seven pounds. My starting weight when I first started this, if you want to be real and honest, is 239 pounds. And you know what, guys? I am super duper ashamed of that weight. I know, I know. But I have I have done real good, you guys, and I am working really hard at bringing that weight down. I just cut out things. Because I choose to. So, anyways, um, after I weighed myself tonight when I got home from working out, and I am down to 230 pounds now. So, if you're judging from the 239 or the 237, I lost 7 to 9, 7 or 9 pounds. It's all the same. It's all an accomplishment. Baby steps, guys. Baby steps. I'm, I'm starting to feel pretty good. Pretty good about myself um i mean i never had any self-confidence issues but i mean i'm starting to feel better oh wow excuse me guys that's so rude anyways i'm starting to feel better about i guess my health issues so to speak i've never had i struggled a long time ago with self-confidence issues but i'm not self-confident i'm not self i mean i don't have low self-esteem I'm confident in who I am and what I look like. I'm just taking care of me because I'm trying to get better and trying to improve on my diabetes and my health. So that's why I'm working out. Not because I want a better body or a better shape. I just want a healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle as in not being obese and not having diabetes. And oh God, no. The Lord knows I don't want do not do not no do not i do not want to be on insulin because I, I can't stand needles and i cannot give myself a shot <laughs> i refuse to do that so you know what that's why i'm working out and i worked out tonight and y'all i felt fabulous and it's all thanks to the help of god God is giving me strength. You guys, I am a believer. I am a Christian. And I believe that every day, I, I can't exist. I can, My life cannot even exist without God's grace and God's mercy. Without his love, without his help, helping me to get up every day because it is a struggle. You guys, it takes me like 10 minutes to get moving because of the pain in my body in the mornings. It takes me so long to get out of bed, but you know what? I do it every day because every day is a brand new day. And for me, for me to even wake up and to be um, able to move still is great. And the fact that I am going down in weight, oh y'all, look at me, I'm in my PJs. Sorry, I'm talking to you in my PJs because you know, nobody likes to be uncomfortable. As soon as I come home, I get comfy. Yep, yep. I get I'm staying away from coffee. You guys, I haven't had coffee in three weeks, maybe less, two to three weeks. Yeah, that's a start for me. Without coffee, ooh. 
I used to think without coffee, don't talk to me. That's how I used to be like, you know, like, if I, if I don't drink coffee, y'all, oh boy. These, I mean, if I didn't have coffee in my system, y'all, nobody wanted to talk to me. Because I'm the type of person, if I don't get caffeine in the morning, y'all don't even want to look at me, y'all don't even want to talk to me. But that's changed a lot. I'm working on the fact of, um, instead of trying to, um, go for coffee, I go for prayer and reading my Bible. That puts me in the mood and puts me in the, the, you know, in the right mindset, I guess. So I'm not crappy and biting people's heads off and like, don't look at me type business, you know. That's what I'm going for. And I'm trying to stay away from coffee, trying to stay away from soda. I don't like diet soda. It's not my favorite. But girl, when I be craving soda, that's what I go to me. I do love Coke Zero, though. I do love Coke Zero. And I guess the Pepsi Max or whatever with the cherry in it is not bad. The other stuff I don't like. So my two go two go to ones when I actually want something sweet are Coke Zero or Pepsi Max Cherry. The Zero kind. Pepsi Zero Cherry or whatever it's called. Anyways, the one that doesn't have sugar. They still taste nasty, but it's more than a soda. That's what I do. I don't drink it very often. I try to drink water. Water, water, water. It's key. Key, key, key for me. Because y'all know, you know what? I don't even drink enough water as it is. I don't drink, I used to not drink a lot of water. I will say, you know, those big, uh, you know, the big gallon or whatever. I think it's like two gallon or something like that. Or the gallon jugs, water jugs from the Dollar Tree. I used to drink those every day and I could down half of that in a day. That's pretty good, y'all. Pretty good. And then I stopped and I started drinking more and more soda and Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is terribly bad for you. It's bad for your teeth. It's bad for anything. I started drinking that. And then it got to the point where my stomach couldn't take the Mountain Dew, so I stopped. And then my stomach couldn't take the Pepsi, so I stopped. And then it couldn't take the Dr. Pepper, so I stopped. So I mean, it definitely can't take the Coke. So I guess I just stopped altogether. So that's what I did. I stopped drinking that, and I've slowly cut out bread out of my life, and I'm slowly cutting out potatoes out of my life. And I'm limiting because I pasta and rice is a hard one for me, but I'm trying to limit myself to eating just a cupful or even less than that of rice and pasta. So anyways, I'm trying, I am trying to cut down on that though. I am. I have to say all the credit goes to God because he's the one giving me the strength to do this and he's the one keeping me going. Without his strength and encouraging verses that I find in the Bible that he shows me, man, your girl would not be able to do this. I would give up after the first week. But you know what? No giving up here. This girl, I am going to keep fighting, y'all. I'm going to keep fighting. And so, um, anyways, I've been talking for about 11 minutes now. But I wanted to come in and update you guys. This is a long progress and a long journey, but I gotta press on. For my own sake, I gotta press on. Anyways, I love y'all, and I hope you enjoy this video. The next few clips of this video are gonna be me cooking in fast mode, ninja mode, and doing dishes. Alright y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this video. For me, that's the greatest accomplishment ever. Anywho, I am just opening up my green beans and gonna put them in a saucepan. And I didn't actually start these till like the last five to three to five to three minutes of my chicken cooking. Um, cause I didn't want them to be like overcooked because basically all you gotta do is warm them up. So I put salt and pepper in them and I'm going to add Italian seasoning and some garlic salt. And they were yummy y'all. They were very, very yummy. Okay, y'all, you saw me just um, wipe the ground because I noticed there was some water on the ground and I could have slipped. 
because I'm clumsy and I would have slipped. So I ripped it up so that wouldn't happen. All right, so here I'm getting my chicken ready. I had to defrost them on two separate plates because they all didn't fit on one. So, um, and then I decided I wasn't going to use all of the chicken, so I put some of it in the fridge so I could make it again the next day. Um, I'm going to be putting them, I did put them on a cookie sheet. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to put salt and pepper on them and some olive oil because later I'm going to be putting barbecue sauce on them and I didn't want them to be over seasoned and taste really weird and wonky with the barbecue sauce. Okay, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt that's in my previous video, that's because I am. Don't worry y'all, I did wash it, but it's just really comfortable and I love the shirt. So I wore it again. It's, I did not record these on the same day. These are different days. Um, different videos, different days, but I did wear the shirt again because I do love the shirt. It is so comfy, you guys. So, so comfy. You know what? In the first part of this video, I said it was going to be in speed mode. And you know what? Y'all, it still is. But I just slowed the speed version down way... Uh, I mean, not way. I mean, a lot. Sorry. It's like really late and I'm tired. So I don't know what I'm talking about right now. But I slowed it down, so it's still in speed mode. I recorded it in speed mode, so I slowed it down when I edited it, so that it wouldn't be so weird. Alright, you guys, so now this is the last part of the chicken, so... I mean, this is the last three to five minutes of the chicken. So I put the barbecue sauce on the chicken, and then I turned my green beans on, and started my rice. Because those don't take long at all. <laughs> 